Hey there, I'm Emma from mm English. This lesson will help you learn all English sounds, but more specifically, how to learn and remember the IPA symbols so that you can study and improve your pronunciation more effectively. The IPA is the International Phonetic Alphabet. It's a set of symbols that represents the different sounds in English. And I know that the thought of learning what must seem like an entirely new alphabet in order to know how to pronounce English words must be really frustrating. But in order to know what sounds to produce to pronounce a word correctly, you need to be able to see and to recognize which sound you need to make. And this is where the IPA can help you. Instead of looking at the letters in this word and trying to pronounce them, maybe saying busyness, you'll see the actual sounds that combine to produce the word and pronounce it correctly. Business. Business. Now, I want you to tell me down in the comments right now what English word is most difficult for you to pronounce? If you add it down below, I'm going to try and make some short videos helping to explain the pronunciation for you. But right now in this lesson, I'm not only going to teach you all of the English sounds, but I'm also going to train you to associate the sounds with their symbols so that you can start using the IPA as a tool to pronounce any English word that you learn correctly. Now, because this lesson is a big one, there's a lot to take in, there's a lot to learn, I've created you a free PDF workbook that you can download using the link in the description below. If you follow the link, you add your email address, I'll send that PDF to you straight away. It's going to have all of the sounds that we'll practice in this lesson today and all of the example words as well. So it's a really useful resource. Go grab it after the lesson to review what we practice right now. This is just a friendly reminder that my accent is an Australian English accent, so everything I'm teaching in this lesson relates to Australian English pronunciation. So by now, you probably have already noticed that English is not a phonetic language. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet, but there are 44 or 45 different English sounds, depending on who you ask. Vowel sounds in particular are a challenge because there's only five vowel letters in English, but there are 19 different vowel sounds. This is why you need the IPA. So let's take a look. These are the 44 sounds of English. You'll notice that some of these sounds look like English letters. So that makes it easy, right? You can see the letter B for the B sound, the letter K for the K sound. But there are some different symbols here for other sounds. For example, this one represents the SH sound. We use this symbol to represent the sound because it can be written with different English letters in English words, like SHOW, RELATION, passion and chef. Notice how the IPA is divided into different sections. The top half shows all of the English vowel sounds. On this left side, you'll find all the monophthong vowel sounds. It's a complicated name for a very simple thing. These are just the pure vowel sounds. Let's go through them. I ship, e, sheep, u, uh, book, u, move, e, egg, a, uh, her, a, uh, teacher. 
This is our relaxed, lazy schwa sound. We really need to relax our jaw. Oh. Oh. Do. I like to remember this one by imagining the shape of my lips, the same shape as that symbol. Oh. Ah. And again, I like to remember the shape of my mouth with this symbol. It's big, it's open. Ah. A. Uh. Cup. O. Uh. On. A. Uh. Ka. So here's a quick tip. The sound with the two dots are long vowel sounds. E, U, E, O, A. This right side has the diphthong sounds. They are also vowel sounds, but they are different because each individual sound is made up of a combination of sounds. Compare that monophthong sound, ah, uh, which is just one sound, with the diphthong sound, oi, which is two sounds combined to make one sound. So the oi diphthong sound is actually made up of the o and i vowel sounds. O i, oi, oi. Let's go through all of them now. A as in day. Oi as in boy. I as in like, air, as in hair, ear, as in hear, ur, as in tour, o, as in show, ow, as in mouth. The bottom half of the IPA table shows all of the English consonant sounds and you'll see that some of these symbols are the same as English letters. And that makes things simple. There are two main types of English consonant sounds, unvoiced and voiced. Unvoiced consonant sounds are made by pushing air through your mouth and it's the air that creates the sound. So actually, when you make unvoiced consonant sounds, you should be able to hold your hand in front of your mouth and you should feel the air coming out. So let's practice and keep your hand there if you need to. P, P, F, Fa, Think, t, top, s, say, sh, she, ch, chip. That sound, ch, is a combination of the t and sh. Remember that when you're looking for this symbol. Ch, k, key. Voiced consonant sounds are made using your vocal cords. So when you're using your vocal cords, you can feel them vibrating or moving. You shouldn't have a lot of air coming out of your mouth when you're making voiced sounds. The sound is made here. B. Beat. V. Van. V. This. D. 
dog, z, zip, j, vision, j, jam. This is a combination of the d and j sounds. J, j, g, gap, n, man, n, next, n, young, h, hope, w, win, o, love, er, run, y, you. The thing is, if you can learn to recognize and to produce these English sounds, you'll be able to pronounce any new English word that you learn perfectly just by breaking it down into the correct sounds. But it's also going to help you to use the correct syllable stress, sentence stress, rhythm, and help you to speak much more clearly and naturally. So the question is, how do you memorize all of these symbols and sounds? We practice. Okay, so we are not going to focus on the sounds that look exactly like the letters. They're the easy ones. We're going to focus our energy on these vowel and consonant sounds that we need to learn how to recognize. So you'll see them come up on screen just here. And when they do, don't just think about the sound, I want you to make the sound as you see it. So what we're trying to do is associate the sound with the movement of your muscles. This is really important, okay? This is why we're practicing together. So just try and pronounce the sound. The word is going to be there just to prompt you, okay? But I want you to focus on memorizing the sound. Let's start with E. Eh. J, E, U, I, Sh, Th, U, A, E. Now we'll go through all of these same sounds again in a different order and without my voice this time. So you need to guess. You need to make the sound out loud. After one second, I'll give you a little clue. I'll add that word up on screen and then you'll hear me make the sound so you can check if you're right. We're working with your memory here. We're trying to make these sounds and symbols stick. Edge, j, flute, u, hide, i. T. 
tissue. Shh. Apart. Ah. Bother. Mm. Angry. Mm. Bath. Breeze. E. Cook. U. Happen. U. Cap. A. Hair. Air. Sip. I. No. Oh. Culture. Ch. Cure. Or. Measure. Boy, oi, hurt, uh, cup, ah. Uh. How, ow, pay, a, yes, y, Beer, ear, poor, or soft, or. Show. Oh. Okay, you've made it to the last part. This is where we get to have some fun, all right? You're gonna see some sounds come up on screen and you need to guess the word. Remember to do this out loud. It's important that you're training your ears, your eyes, your mouth all together. They're working as a team here. Yacht. Young. Brochure.
greet. Breathe. Groceries. Jungle. Mission. Mechanic. Mustache. Nationality. Nurse. Pouch. Qualify. Reservation. Single. Special. Technique. Toenail. Urgent. So I really hope that you enjoyed that practice today. I designed it so you can continue to come back and test yourself. Maybe skip over the sounds and come straight to the practice because it's going to take you some time to practice and to remember all of these different sounds. I know when I was learning them, I found it really helpful to associate the different shapes and the different sounds or combinations of sounds that came together to produce these words. It really helped me to remember them. Watch it again, test yourself, remind yourself about all of these different sounds, keep practicing, make it stick in your mind. And if you want me to make another practice lesson just like this one, let me know down in the comments below. Practice makes perfect, doesn't it? I'll see you in the next lesson.